Hey guys, I'm Mono and welcome back to the channel. Today I have something that you've been requesting, a new graphics settings video for update 9. I know a lot of people have taken a big performance hit with this last update, so I'll be going over which setting impacts performance the most and showing some of the visual differences between each of the settings, low, medium, high, epic and so on. At the end of the video, I will give you my recommended settings if you're looking for a middle balance between performance and visual quality. So what I did for this video was I jumped onto an empty server running Hurtgen Forest and I did a sort of gauntlet, a sort of stress test to test each of the graphical settings. What I did was I got into a truck, drove around for a bit, then parked the truck, shot at a jeep that was on fire, then ran through the forest using the binoculars and shooting around, and dropped some smoke next to a tree that was on fire, so I would get a bunch of different effects going on, which dropped the frames quite significantly. Then I took some static measurements to see also what the visual impact of each of these settings was using a single reference picture to help you decide what settings you want to turn down and which ones you want to keep because you like the way the game looks. So first of all, shadow quality has the biggest performance hit out of all the other settings. So if you're struggling for performance, you want to run shadow quality at its lowest setting. There's also another reason why you want to do that, and that is that running it at low gives you a slight competitive advantage. As you can see from the pictures, with the lowest setting, everything looks brighter. Keep in mind that there are going to be some minor differences in each of the pictures according to the cloud coverage and so on, but for the most part, running this on low will make the game brighter and therefore make it easier to see the enemy. Bumping it up to medium is a nice compromise between quality and performance, since you do get most of the shadow details and the performance hit isn't too bad. By running this on low, you should be getting somewhere around 35 to 45% more frames, so definitely run it at the lowest setting that you feel comfortable with. The next culprit in terms of performance is texture quality. Now, running the game with the textures at the lowest setting is not something I would recommend, unless you absolutely have to because it does look terrible. This will make everything look blurry or pixelated. So yeah, overall, if you need some performance, I would recommend you run this on medium because as you can see from the pictures, you get a much nicer image. I'm sorry, I apologize that these do not line 100% accurately, but if you take a look at the APC and at the ground, it's very easy to see that there is a big difference in terms of visual quality. Next, let's move up to AA quality. And this is a strange one because the high setting seems to offer the same performance as the low setting. So running it on high seems to be better than running it on medium, which is quite bizarre. However, the performance difference between running this on low versus epic isn't really significant. It's something like between two or 4%. So not a whole lot. And in terms of visual quality, it's really, really hard to see a difference when using a static image. But when running around, there is some difference. I personally run this on Epic because the performance hit isn't that bad. But if you don't want to run it on Epic, then either choose high or low. The next setting is the effects quality setting. And this is one that's going to depend heavily on what's going on on screen. If you notice the game hitching up when there's a lot of explosions going on, like bombing runs or tanks exploding or smoke or whatever, then you will want to drop this down to around medium settings. Now, the difference between low and medium in terms of average frame rate was pretty much the same. I did get a lower minimum frame rate using medium, but not as significant as using high or epic. So for this one, I'd say keep it at low or medium if you want more performance or bump it all the way up to high or epic if you like, you know, the shiny explosions. And if you do find yourself getting way too many slowdowns when there's a lot of stuff going on, then you know to lower this setting. The setting for view distance is a tricky one. You can see from the pictures that there's some detail in the background that's not getting drawn in when the view is set as high. However, the fact that they're not drawn in actually allows you to see better, to see even further, because you can see this fence right here, you can see it more clearly when the setting is high. However, this is a double-edged sword because it means that you will see enemies that are actually behind fences, shoot at them, hit the fence, and therefore reveal your position to them without having intended to do so. You know, you wanted to kill them, but turns out there's something in the way that isn't getting drawn in. 
In terms of performance, you do get a bit more frames when using this on high. So if you're struggling for performance, run this on high. In terms of whether or not you should, in terms of visual quality, then I don't know. I think that's a personal preference. There's not much of a difference. So choose whatever you want. Foliage is an easy one. You want to keep this on medium setting. It does impact performance. There's like a 10 frame rate difference between epic and medium, at least on my PC maybe a bit more. The high setting also seems to be worse than epic in terms of performance, so do not run this at high, choose either medium or epic. Now obviously the grass does look better on epic than it does on medium, but you do get a slightly less amount of grass using the medium setting. So in terms of getting a competitive advantage, you want to run this in medium as well. Before update 9, this used to be a massive difference, it's not as huge right now. So yeah, enemies will be a bit more visible using this on medium. Post-process seems to be one of the trickiest one to really nail down what exactly it is doing. It seems to tie into the effects, like explosions and fire and stuff like that. So that means when there's a lot of stuff going on, having this on epic will cause significant slowdowns. I got 54 frames as a minimum when running this on an epic. So you definitely want to run this on medium. However, in terms of visual quality, to be honest, it is kind of hard to pinpoint exactly what the difference is, but I would say most players will want to run this on medium. SSAO is definitely one setting that you want to turn completely off. There is a big significant difference in terms of visual clarity when turning this off. You can see everything gets darker, it's harder to see, there's more shadows, there's more like, yes, there's more detail and it looks a bit better, but the performance hit is quite significant with an 8% difference between epic and low on average and up to a 25% difference between the minimum frame rates that I was getting. So turn this off, you will see better, you will see the enemies more clearly. It does look like Battlefield 9042, there's like basically no shadows on anything. It looks worse in terms of realism for sure but the performance impact is quite significant and it is straight up easier to see the enemies with this off. So in terms of overall settings, I'm running the game in windowed mode. Sometimes when you're running it in full screen, even though you should get a slight performance boost, the game seems to crash more often. So I'm running it on windowed full screen. I'm using the epic texture quality, shadow quality, either low or medium, anti-alias, community TAA, I haven't talked about the anti-alias, this is I think the best one. The performance hit is pretty much the same for all anti-alias methods and it really does come down to personal preference in terms of how you want the game to look. I like the way it looks on Community TAA. Anti-alias quality is on Epic, FX quality Epic, View Distance High, Foliage Medium, Post Process Epic, SSAO and Motion Blur are off. That's what I would recommend if you have a decently powerful PC in order to have the game look good, but also run smoothly. If you can't run the game at a stable 60 or above using these settings, then definitely start lowering stuff like texture quality, post-processing quality, and FX quality before you lower anything else. All right, hopefully this will help you guys get the most out of your PC when you're trying to run Hell Let Loose. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like or consider subscribing. And if you want to support the channel, then check out the memberships right here on YouTube. Whenever I'm live streaming, members to the channel do have a priority in terms of who gets to play with me in my squad, since, you know, they are the reason why I can keep doing this. Alright, as always, thank you for watching and I hope I will catch you in the next one.